Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome to Nightmare the Lunatic. This is a brand new side-scrolling action roguelike in the same vein as like Skull the Hero Slayer and Dead Cells. Definitely has a diff uh, similar look to Skull the Hero Slayer, I think, but I think it actually crafted its own unique little space here for the most part, where you're centered around swapping between the three different weapons. The game really incentivizes you to keep switching the weapons. So you have, I have, for instance, in this run that we're about to get started, we have a sword that's going to be on the left side. As you can see there, we have a spear, which I haven't actually tried yet. And then you have an ax and you get bonuses for swapping between them, like temporary staff buffs. You can see them kind of ticking down above our health bar in the bottom left there. Now the UI, there's, there's a, like a lot going on. I definitely get it that there's a lot going on there. It uses a gem, which is the blue thing at the very bottom there. Every time you swap weapons, it's not doing it right now because we're in the hub. Then you have your SP on the right side, um, uh, which usually gets consumed when you use the special ability, which is set to the Y button on controller here. You got your health on the left side. On the far left, we have a consumable item that just simply restores health. You have your meta currencies over on the right side. And then at the very, very bottom in teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny gauge there, that's the right trigger, super special button or something. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I think I had kind of a rough first impression of the game because they threw all of this at you all at once. And I had to kind of fiddle with some of the controls to really get started. But then it really bounced back quickly because I actually, there's a lot of cool things about this game. It's actually pretty badass, I think, so far. I paid like $16 for it. Oh, no, it was on sale. I think the full price is $17. I paid like $13 or $14 for it, I believe. Anyway, let's get a run started. Here we are. So initially, they wanted the swap weapon buttons to be bound to the right joystick. So in order to swap weapons, you would need to tap on the right joystick. I changed it so it's D-pad instead. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not that big of a difference, honestly. But now I've already gotten used to it, and I feel like it's better. <laughs> so you do want to swap weapons. There's no like penalty, per se, other than the gems it costs. Oh my god, there's still enemies in this stupid chamber. Other than the gems it costs just to make it so you can't spam the weapon swaps, right? Um, but yeah, you want to try to get on a rotation of them so that you keep those buffs up. I don't, I think I can kind of quickly look at it here. Yeah, swap buff. When you weapon swap, increases attack speed by 10% for six seconds. When you weapon swap, increases a special attack by 25% for six seconds. I don't really like that one then. When you weapon swap, your next five attacks within six seconds poison enemies. And there's a lot more going on here. It is definitely elaborate. Uh, what's going on, but it's pretty quick to pick up. It's just getting used to the, to the control scheme and just getting to know the UI that is a bit on the more challenging side. Resonate. I actually don't know what this does. I guess it decided to hurt me. <laughs> I've only played for about 45 minutes uh, prior to this moment, but I could tell like really quick, like, oh, okay, this game's actually got a lot going on to it. That's our Y button right there. And that just generates over time, as far as I can tell. There might be some things that help it generate faster. And each weapon is going to have its own unique thing. So we got to pick three weapons at the start of the run. I didn't show that because I wanted to get into the action a little bit sooner. What is this? Reforge weapon. So what can I change? I don't like the spear swap buff, I'm thinking. Let's find out. Spear combo, spear wind force. Oh, I don't know what either of these do. Wind Force sounds more fun, though, right? Weapon Reforged. It's blue now, so the swap buff is the same, but the SP attack looks like it got better. Sends a Wind Force created by the spear in the direction of the movement key. Pressing the skill again skips the casting animation. Interesting that you can skip the animation, and they tell you that you can skip the animation. Most games would not bother to relay that information, though. But I mean, yeah, outside of what you've already seen, it's kind of like a pretty standard roguelike in that. Oh, this is timed or something. You know, like complete the run, you know, kill the enemies, that kind of thing. Pick up the buffs. We'll kind of talk as we go, but it, it's pretty easy. You got to see the bosses, though. If you're already thinking of swapping off, go ahead and swap off after the boss. You're, gonna, you're just going to have to trust me, though, on that one. The, sh the bosses are badass and ridiculously difficult, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, you cowardly thing, you. Okay. They gave me another spear. Which is bad, I'm gonna say, right? 
recharges active totems to 100%. Okay. So I don't know what a totem is, to be honest. Totems. Apparently sweet apple is a totem. It gets consumed on use. But I guess I don't want that. Trace of nightmare. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Active totems full. I think as I'm worried I'm going to use that. Yeah, now I have no totem. Well, great game. So I could swap into two spears, but I don't think I want to. So I use my apple. It is Gonzo. Gone with the wind. I'm saving my super, my super special attack for later. I probably haven't shown very many. There you go. That was the Y ability of the axe that I have on the right side there. Okay, I want to use the Wind Force ability. They do have some fast travel going on. All these little things are just teleports that kind of bring you to different sections. This opens up the fast travel between. I think in a game like this that has like the grid-based map, I think it's kind of fine just when we open the map, just let us pick a room to teleport to that we've already been in. I don't think you actually need to give us fast travel nodes personally. Like it's not a big deal. It doesn't, it doesn't ruin the flavor or whatever, you know? That's my two cents at least. Okay, I tried to use the uh, the Y button, but it, it just totally whiffed. I probably didn't bring up the fact that, yes, there is a jump button, you know, pretty standard. There is also a dash button. It's actually not that remarkable looking, but it does give you iframes, meaning that you dodge the attacks entirely. You also get, you have a double jump to be precise too. But that's kind of it. Kind of like your standard moveset that you'd expect here. If you've played the deadly cells, it probably feels quite similar. I don't remember Skull Hero Slayer enough really to say. It's just been years and years and years since I played it. I liked it quite a bit. I never checked out the updates. It was one of those games I kind of always meant to check out again. I think I Skull always had that core issue for me, which was that uh, the visual clarity is just super problematic. Like trying to see the enemies and see what's going on. It was it was fun because you could get like really overpowered and then it didn't matter whether you could see or not. But just trying to make out the enemies and attacks, it was just so hard. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? All right, we got ourselves a shop. So we got different weapon, a different weapon here, the revolver. So I can swap out a weapon for the revolver. Eh, restores 30% health. Re recharges your totems. We don't have a totem right now. Drops two times the amount of items on the next chest you open consumed on use. I think that is a totem then. 760. We have 1,212. Increases the attack by 5% for each pawn. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what a pawn is. I have no clue. Couldn't tell you. Attacking the same target applies a stack of gear. Each stack increases attack by 3%. Stacks reset when you attack a different target or when hit. Okay, so I can still swap weapons. I think I like that then. I think we shall buy. What do you think? So increase our, our attack speed. Okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. That's the healing fountain. There is some meta progression in the game. I'll show you at the end afterwards. It's actually kind of interesting meta progression. What I have seen so far. It's not super boring or anything. Okay, looks like that's that for that room. I think uh, one is that we got that healing fountain to appear in the biome that we already saw. Wah. Got you. You'll probably notice I'm mostly swapping between the sword and the axe. That's actually almost partially just because that's what my thumb wants to press. <laughs> Instead of hitting up on the d-pad, I don't know why. Uh, do I have enough money to afford the key to get extra items out of this? Mm, it's close. I don't know. I'm just going to grab it. We got some money. Immune to knockbacks plus 5 HP as well. These items that we pick up, they seem to give you just like a passive buff on top of whatever they state. Yeah, plus 5% attack per totem. Plus 5% per attack totem. So these are totems, not pawns. I don't know what a pawn is then. So the gear combat gave us plus 5% attack. The crampons. The what? Gave us plus 5 max HP. Okay, lovely. I still don't know what a pawn is. 
besides the chess piece, you know what I mean? Uh, we have money to go. Oh, sorry. To go buy uh, the other item real quick from the shop. Oh, I didn't actually realize we had a ground pound. Oh, we could have afforded the key. Rip. Per pawn. Do I get more information now about it? For each pawn. For each pawn. What could a pawn be? I don't know. I don't know. Any devs watching? Any knowledge havers? This game did spend some time in early access, apparently. I saw some reviews from early access. All right, boss time. It's Lupus. We shall defeat Lupus. Uh, now. All right, we got to use our big attack as soon as I'm ready. Woo! There's our big attack. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on, bud. That wasn't fair. Uh, when do I jump? Now. Oh, rocks. Are you doing the move again? You're doing the move again. Okay. There we go. Bash. Ah, okay. So you can't be even, like, remotely behind, it would appear. Wait a sec. Oh, oh, the poisonous gases. Okay, run over here. This time I'm not going to get hit by the thing. You wait and see. Not enough gems. Won't let me swap. Wait. Get in there. Got him. Woo! Lovely. Lovely thing. Stay out of the red. Bottom line, right? Looks like that's all there is. Okay, so you do get money after the boss, so you could revisit the shop, but I know that we're too broke now for that. So I want to go to that. No, there was just like a spear there I didn't care about. All right, give me that. All right, we got a free item in between biomes. Creates a crit chance by 10%. Ooh, woo. Killing an enemy drops bone fragments. Collecting 200 bone fragments upgrades to totem wondrous bone. Uh, I don't know. All purchases become a 0.8x, so 20% discount. But this also comes with a curse that I haven't tried yet. When hit, take three additional damage. I don't think so. That sounds pretty annoying. That sounds pretty terrible. Um, I'm really curious about the wondrous bone. They kind of they they got me. You don't know how many enemies I'm going to have to kill. Does that mean I have to kill 200 enemies? Because that's like a lot, right? Biome number two. The interior is completely empty. It makes me think that there are some secrets around in the game. Okay, I think this enemy shields other enemies. Ow, if I don't kill it. Dude, relax. Sonic, please. Continue to relax. Nah. Okay. Lovely. Recharger is 100% OP. I think you can leave that there for now. That must be the purple bar. I'm going to assume, at least. That way I can use it here, I suppose. Oh, it's already over. Oh, okay. So depending on how charge it is i understand i totally whiffed <laughs> got him okay so i guess i'll pick this up now and that way i can use some of the bar we're already at 38 bone fragments okay looks like enemies do give us more oh my god Can I swap weapons? I cannot swap weapons after utilizing this. Can I turn it off early? Didn't seem to work. I've definitely gotten hit a lot. <laughs> it is pretty forgiving even when you first start out. Like, you're seeing me get hit a lot. This is only my second run ever. I did one run, and we got what felt like surprisingly far. All right, there is a healing fountain, but we can probably wait on it, right? Before we use it, you can always come back. Whoa. Okay. It's just kind of awkward placement here. Here we go. Kabum. Ah, yo, kabum, though. Oh, my. Ooh, excuse 
me. Oh my god, what a nightmare. Okay. Do I just use the fountain now? Almost missed this chest. This has money in it. All right, let's keep exploring. Oh, the spikes got me. Okay. More doodads. Oh! You son of a gun, you. Got you. I kind of just fumble on, like, what thing I'm trying to swap to at all times. Oh. Okay, now it's time to go use the healing fountain. We found the boss going that way anyway. And I don't... I think we want to explore first, right? Typically the case in these games. Correct, Amundo? They actually healed us for... I assumed it would give us, like, 50%, but it still overhealed, it looked. Okay, there we go. Adam, Smash. Cut. Smack him. Love it. The end. We got a treasure over here. What do you got for me? Projectile increases projectile range by one. Well, that sounds terrible for us. There's no reason not to take it. it also gives us re gem recharge rate. Stell with the words of the goddess inscribed. I don't know what that means. I get the feeling that might have be like some kind of secret. I don't even know if that's the right way to pronounce that word. I've only seen that word in two places. This game and the other game have a nice death. The other game. Those are the two games that exist. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. Whoop. Hey. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Nice try, jerk. Oh, come on. Come back. Yarma dildo. Oh, my God. How did you achieve this? Okay, shop time. Move speed, 10%. <laughs> Terrible, right? Maybe the gem recharge rate is okay. Killing a normal enemy restores 1 HP. If max HP is full, obtain one barrier up to 10% max HP. Yo, 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 though. You know what I'm saying? Another sword. No. Gain 40 barrier. I don't actually know what barrier does, but I assume it's good. Blocks an attack with a 10% chance. All right. Both of those sound pretty good to me. Very defensive, but good enough, right? Is it already time for the boss? Oh, whoops, I missed that you could go down here. Okay, smack them. Got him. I'm still swapping weapons at a decent rate. I'm just ignoring the spear, which I guess is okay. Anyway, right? Like, you don't have to use all three weapons, as far as I can tell. You still don't have the wondrous bone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 130 enemy... 130 bones, it looks like we got. Come on, get up there, hun. All right, now it looks like it's boss time, right? Yeah, I don't see anything else. Okay, we're already on to the second boss. Let's go. Statue of the Sun. Okay. Whoa. Let's see. Any other, like, cooldowns I gotta use? Eventually. Okay. Okay, I don't like this. Ow, biscuits. Alright, use this button. Whiffed. Smack, smack. Oh, you can actually attack those, it looks. One. Surprise, phase two. <laughs> I already knew about this one, but I don't know about the next boss. Soldia, the Awakened Sun. 
Come here. Come on. What are you doing? What is this? I don't like that. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, ah, hey, uh, ah. You can dash through. Write that down. Okay. What? Uh, what? Uh. Okay. I think I managed to avoid that, kind of. Oh God! I you can climb the walls normally. Uh oh. <gasps> Bit much. <laughs> oh dang! That hit me. Be parried by the enemy. What? You can't just parry me like that. I didn't agree to this. Oh coward. Okay, you come in. Oh man, I deal no damage. Where's the damage though? Oh God, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Are you trying to parry? I was trying to figure that out. Apparently not. Apparently not. Ow. Ow! Oh, no, nut. Come on! Like how I bragged that I knew the boss and then I got absolutely dumped on by it. <laughs> wow, that was hard. That was really hard. They went down quite slow, honestly. Whew. That was pretty challenging. It's fine. We got the Wonder's Bone coming up. It'll save us for sure. SP attacks freeze enemies. Ugh. When hit, release a chill around you, knocking back nearby enemies and freezing them. Cool down three seconds. Eh. Increases weapon swap duration. Weapon buff duration by two seconds. Weapon swap grants swap, swap buffs of all weapons equipped. Oh my. <laughs> Normal enemies attack once more before they die. Wow. That's pretty good, right? Let's try it out. So we get a bit of a curse. Just a touch. Just a taste. Just a tickle of it. We'll be fine though, right? So enemies will attack once more after they are quote unquote dead or whatever. Oh, yo, that orb. Yo, that orb though. Undying, it said. Okay. Oh, my. Stars and stripes. Man, that was already rough. I'm not looking forward to future rooms. Can we take a break? Okay, you're hopefully gonna die from poison. Undying, undying. So does this curse last forever? Okay, I kind of want to replace the spear with something that gives me a buff I prefer. I guess it's probably not that bad. When you weapon swap, increase SP attack by 25% for 6 seconds. It's probably not that bad now, I guess. I'm using the SP attacks okay, I would say. What's this chamber? Put totem. I don't think we have a totem. I think that's consumable. Offer blood. Wait, what? What happened? Was that good or bad? <gasps> it just totally randomized them or something. Increases attack and attack speed of pawns by 20%. Ugh. Increases max HP. In a new secret room, drops a dream shards and gold. Gems are buried. Decreases gravity. Attacks nearby enemies on a parry. Yeah, there's a parry button, by the way. Wait, how, how do I... Cancel. No, I don't like that. I don't like what I got. Our damage went even lower somehow. I like the things that we had. Well, that is not what I expected. Dude, relax. 
Wait, so did I lose the Weapon Master thing? I think that's different. I think that's different from what we had. Oh my god, he jumped so high now. Undying. Oh, these jerks attack forever. Oh, stop, stop! Biscuit. Oh man, I'm getting stomped right now. Look at that jump. <laughs> he jumped so high. That's the healing fountain. Okay. So we know that it heals for at least 50%, so I guess we can try to wait. Oh, I hate you. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, because you were undying. I understand now. Life is making sense to me now. Oh, God. Please stop, though. How many times am I going to get fooled by the undying, you think? May have been a mistake. All right, we're done. Okay, let's go ahead and use the fountain. Shazam. What's this about? There is a blood stain, crushed flesh is lump inside. Oh, so I lost my wondrous bone too? I wanted to find out about the wondrous bone. You know what this game kind of reminds me of, which is a toss up in the sense that most people probably don't know this one. It's a little more, slightly more niche. It's not that niche though, really. Uh, Neon Abyss, it kind of reminds me of. Increases overload duration by 30%. Eh, I think that's the right trigger thing. Increases gem recharge rate by 10% for each pawn. Terrible. Fire Moth Caterpillar projectiles that ricochets to two nearby enemies. Fire Moth Caterpillar projectiles. Well, what? That ricochets to two nearby enemies. Guess I'm gonna try that. Is that a pawn? Okay, so you can see purses there. You can see character stuff there. Weapons there. Totems are here. Is this... Is this a pawn? I don't know. Because it, it almost sounded like a companion, right? Bonk. Okay, my friend. Whoa! I'm very lucky that did not hurt me. If I just hit them an extra time, does that work, I wonder? What? Oh, come on. It only hit me because I dashed into it or whatever. Horse hockey. That's what I say. Horse is playing the game of hockey. What do you got for me? When hit, reduces all damage taken by 30% for 10 seconds. 15 second cooldown. Got all the defense, but none of the damage. All the defense. None of the damage. This is not how I typically play games. Glass cannon dance. Uh-oh. They're totally gonna bot me, aren't they? Aha! Okay, but could you stop? Thank you. Got a bunch there. Oh, that baby's gonna blow. Ah, it's so hard to hit them with the axe because you just stop. When you swing the axe. Boss is there. Are we already done? We missed one chamber. Guess we'll go this way. We'll still check it out. Probably want to revisit the shop. Okay. Okay. These platforms definitely make it awkward. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, game. Uh, okay. Destroy the wall. Okay, just totally... Wah! How dare. I think we can buy some health back. Oh my ginger god. That's not what happened, I swear. There's nothing here? There's something so disappointing about that. Hmm. Okay, we want to visit Le Shop first, though, before we go to boss, I guess. I have not actually seen this boss yet, I believe. How do you get back down there? Okay. Yeah, friendship locket. Sounds pretty weak. 
Overload duration also sounds kind of weak. Charges active totems. I don't think that does anything. Do I just take the heal then? Feels kind of lame to be honest, but the, I mean, those sounded pretty bad. I'm not swapping quickly enough probably to make it worthwhile uh, to take the gem recharge stuff basically. All right, let's check it out. Don Sagnan. Okay. Bonk, bonk. Yeah. Ah! Ah! What is this? I don't like this move. Oh, okay, okay. I think I understand better now. I think I may have been hit. Oh. What is that? What is that? There's a bunch of mines everywhere. Oh, crap. Mines again. Oh. We're fine. Oh, I'm not fine. Oh, you little jerkwad, you. Okay, what if I stand over here? Ah! I tried to dash through it. It didn't work. What are you doing? What? Huh? Huh? Then you do that. I'm totally gonna get blown. Right in the mouth. Okay, relax. No! Dude got me. You died. Damn. I was having fun. But the build was... Our build was bad. Even, like, my first run went way smoother. The fact that we swapped out, like, all the damage... I was probably gonna die there either way. My god, that was hard. That's quite hard, I gotta say. Perfect timing. The wagon's features have been fully restored. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. There's, like, a lot more stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot more for us to uncover. So, let's take a look at the meta stuff that they got us for us in the game. It's all up and running. I'll get the items ready once you buy the scrolls. Then, without further ado, buy the two scrolls in front of you. We're still kind of in the tutorial. Buy gauntlet scroll and something else. Ring of power. When you weapon swap, your next three attacks within six seconds become critical strikes. I think that might be a weapon. And then ring of power is just like a, a an item, I guess. Well done. As you can see... Okay, so yeah, there's the gauntlet or whatever. Weapons are brought directly to the wagon. However, totems send, tend to fly away to somewhere into the dream, which is why you need to get them in person while exploring. Could the difference in weights be a factor, perhaps? Anywho, I ask you to buy as many as possible. You see, I really need the money. I'll change the scrolls whenever you visit. Happy shopping. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, well that definitely opened up some stuff. Energy drink. What? What? Okay. What? It's still going! Are you- Oh my god! Look at it all! There's some empty spots there. I guess because... We might plan more items or something? I don't know. So I can't- I can't get these. I can't, like, do anything with these. I assume I need to... Purchase them all first. At 3,000, whatever this currency is called. Increase gold earned by 50% until you spend gold. Swap buff. When you weapon swap, automatically parries one attack that can be parried within 6 seconds. Ability effects do not trigger with this parry. Swallows a poison field that lasts for 10 seconds. Clearing rooms unharmed drops additional gold relative to the stage. Weapon sounds fun. When entering a new room, duplicate one of the totems in possession. Clearing rooms resets this effect. I don't know if I love that. So these are all unlocks. I don't get them, like, instantly, I assume. Right? That one doesn't sound that good. I don't know if Piggy Bank does either. Actually, Piggy Bank's probably okay. So this is where it, this is more like this makes the game easier kind of thing. Because we already got a couple... Uh, you got a sweet apple at the start of the run, which was the thing that healed us at the very beginning. Healing fountain in every stage. Using it restores 50% HP. Okay, it was 50% apparently. Install totem vending machine at the exit of the wagon. Draws random totems with dream shards. Okay. Shield kit. Provides a shield kit with every for every respawn. Don't know 
what shield kit does. I think it gives you 40 barrier. I'm not sure though. Install item converter inverter in the shop. Using it replaces all items with the new ones and new products are stocked on empty stands. Oh, I see. That's not bad. Provides 500 gold for every respawn. I'll probably just take that for now though. Maybe skip the shield kit. I don't know. Maybe save up for item inverter after that. But yeah, these appear to be the things that just make the game a bit easier for you if you wanted. Do you think the cr tree grew a little? Oh, I thought maybe there just weren't that many weapons in the game, but yeah, this is like the weapon tree. So you can pick the three to start out or you can just pick the randomize option there too. So it's up to you what you want to start with. Over here, these are abilities. There's a lot. There is a lot. I don't even know how I earned these purple shards really, but basically you have to pick either the left or the right side. So right side reduces damage taken, left side chance to dodge attack. So you can pick like one of the two for each one and you can even like upgrade some like this one's been upgraded. So we have more uh, crit chance of I mean, Yeah, it looks like to get to the next tier, I just need another purpley thing. Down here is just practice dummies, and I think that's all there is to see. Drops 500 coins. Draw a totem. So you can spend currency to get totems at the start of the run. Oh, I can't actually go back now. Oh, I was going to check that top room. So we got the piggy bank. But you get only get one, huh? For now. Probably do it every run, though, still. Well, I wish I got the piggy bank before I picked up the gold, huh? <laughs> but that's gonna do it for this run there are difficulties i have not actually tried anything besides normal yet because this was only our second run oh that's a gauntlet look at that but if you want to see more nightmare the lunatic it has it is fun i do recommend it in the wood state that it is in it seems like there's a quite a bit of content quite fun quite a lot to explore quite a bit of variety but if you want to see more make sure you like comment subscribe especially let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video